This panel shows us how we can stop light, and it actually works. As you know, light goes 300,000 kilometers per second and nothing can go faster than that, but that speed can only be achieved in a vacuum. The speed of light in air, for example, is slightly less. In water, it gets even slower, and in denser materials, it slows even further. Many years ago, physicists figured out how to exploit this phenomenon. They took gas from sodium and cooled it nearly to absolute zero using lasers. This extreme cooling causes the gas to enter a special state called the Bose-Einstein condensate, a quantum cloud where the atoms act in unison. This condensate exhibits some insane optical properties. The interaction between light and the atoms in the BEC is so strong that the speed of light is drastically reduced, as if light was trying to navigate through a complex maze. Using this method, a team led by Lin Hao managed to slow light down to a mere 17 meters per second, which is roughly 60 kilometers per hour, meaning anyone with a car would easily outrun light at that speed. But that's not the end of the story. Atoms in the Bose-Einstein condensate are so cold and tightly packed, light would interact strongly with them like someone struggling to move through molasses. When running the same experiment with extreme settings, we can temporarily bring light to a complete halt. Not only that, light's electromagnetic field subtly tweaks the energy states of the condensate's atoms. In simpler terms, it kind of merges with them, and by switching off the light's laser while keeping the condensate in place, the light's informations were imprinted into the condensate's atoms as a collective spin wave, a ripple in the atom's quantum states. The photons themselves were absorbed, but their blueprint lives on the atomic cloud, so while it might seem as if the light was turned solid, it's really the light's information that has been stored in a solid medium. To restart the light, the team turned the laser back on, the condensate's atoms still holding the spin wave, reconstructed the original light pulse as they turned to their normal state. The released light had the same properties as the original, like hit and play on the paused video. And to clarify whether experiments like these actually turn light into a solid or even liquid in a very recent case, they really don't. What's stored is the quantum information of the light, rather than the light itself becoming solid or liquid. Such experiments are crucial for testing quantum phenomena, and one day they might even enable the processing of information at light speed in quantum computers.